the geometric center, the clock tower, the market is where all our statute miles are referenced. So, so if you live in 50 miles in Georgetown, that's where you measure from. So everything in Guyana is referenced to the lighthouse. Now let's talk about rainfall. See there's a structure there, there's a pipe in the ground. This photograph is actually taken at the old abandoned Houston estate on East Bank with the Vero family owned. There's a pipe, the next one please. You notice in the middle of nowhere, and there's a canister, there's a copper canister, a copper cylindrical canister, four inches in diameter, 14, it could be more than, more than 12 inches high, but this one is 12. And that steps into the next slide. Now, if, when you first saw it, it was in an open ground, and that's because a rain gauge is supposed to be four feet away from any structure, so that the breeze can blow the rain in any direction, and whatever is contained or caught in that canister, you measure it and say, oh, two inches. Well, oh, two inches in one hour, or 24 hours, you might get an inch and a half. Now, our entire drainage system is designed around the premise of one and a half inches per rain in 24 hours. So all our drainage effort is based on that calculation. Next slide. Now, these are all the outfalls that land in the Demra River. I didn't show the one at Kitty, because that's in the Atlantic Ocean, there's mechanical pump, or the other two at Lillendal. But we'll talk about them briefly. But Mr. Mayor, you would know about 11 cocos that come under your domain. But there are two of them that really, that one at Meadow Houston and this one at McLoom. They don't really count, but sooner than later, you probably, if you don't inherit them, you'll have to adapt them. And anyway, that's just a, that's a prophecy. <laughs> but it's Kingston with a pump, Kowan Street without a pump, Lamar Street with a pump, Charles Street Canal, this is one by Samish Parker. Point of a sense, a young guy the other day, I said, uh, you know that cocoa by Sandwich Park? He said, where's Sandwich Park? <laughs> you don't know about Montreal, but it's understandable. Comor Street is the one by John Finance, then you have Princess Street, Sussex Street, North Rangeveld, Riverview, this is the one just behind the south of the Rangeveld Police Station, this one just north of it. Then the Meadow Bank, this is the one by Banks of the H Town. But these two we'll talk about briefly, and the one at the Work Club, which is the boundary between Flower Mill and uh, Eccles. But the city was so only up till the St. John Road. This is the city up till Sussex Street. So yeah, this is, this is the city of 2.1 square miles up till 1969, when the municipal and district councils that came into effect. And I take the opportunity to recognize my good friend, Mr. Barkley Wickham, who was engineer with myself at the time, 1969 to 1973. Can you folks hear me properly down the back? Good. Yeah, so the city in those days used to be 2.1 square miles, and then suddenly in 1969 it became 15 square miles because just east of the Torquine Road, the Crown Garment Industry, and on the southern side by the Great Flower, the Flower Mill Road, as you call it. Next.